Here's what a lap around Monaco looks like. There's not a very long run up from the grid to turn one named Santa Vote, and then an uphill effective straight. This leads right into the tricky turn three Massonet corner. You then have the turn four casino corner, which exits onto a short straight that ends with turn five, one of Monaco's very few overtaking opportunities. Drivers are then led downhill to the legendary turn six Grand Hotel hairpin. And after they navigate this tricky section, they are led further downhill to turn seven and turn eight. You then have the legendary Monaco tunnel, which includes turn nine and pairs with the straight just after the tunnel, another of Monaco's very few overtaking opportunity. And then the turn 10 and 11 Nouvelle Chicane. After there's the downforce focus section of turn 12 through turn 16, followed by La Rascasse Corner and Anthony Nogue's Chicane that do not set drivers up well to overtake on the upcoming DRS pit straight, which is part of the reason Monaco Grand Prix feature so few overtakes.